Well, as the school year nears, teachers are preparing their classrooms for what they hope to be a more normal year. For today's Positively the Heartland, 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis tells us how the community is helping teachers make their classrooms more than just a place to learn. According to the National Education Association, on average, teachers spend about $500 out of pocket every year for their students in classrooms. Some local teachers told 3 News Now they spend upwards of 1000 I would say on average probably 500 to $1,000 by myself. The average nationally is between $500 and $1,000. Um, but if you're, buy, if you're a new teacher and you have to buy your classroom library and you're buying flexible seating and decorations, you're looking at a few thousand dollars. Teachers say their schools provide basic necessities like pencils and paper, but it takes a bit more to make a classroom feel like home. You're sitting at a desk in a chair. You're, you know, we want to bring in fun seats and ways where maybe um, kids that can't sit in a desk all day, that they will have an option to maybe go to the stand-up desk or have like kind of a chair that wobbles to help with their ADHD. And so making um, accommodations in your classroom for that. Katie Eden, a fifth grade teacher, started a Facebook group where community members can help ease the out-of-pocket burden for teachers. Teachers can post Amazon wish lists or their Venmo and community members adopt a teacher and donate items. It really shows um, not only how passionate the teachers are in our community and how much they care about our students, but how um, the members of our community, whether they have kids in school or not, are so willing to um, come out and help teachers. Summer Hospodka, a first grade teacher, was adopted by someone in the Facebook group and says now she can pay it forward to her students. Teachers, we just want to teach and we want to love on our students. And so when someone else buys a book for us or, you know, provides paper that we don't normally use, it's just it's uplifting our spirits, which then helps us uplift our students. For Positively the Heartland, I'm Alyssa Curtis. If you're not part of a local Facebook group but still want to donate, they say a good way would be to reach out to your child's teacher and ask if there's anything they would like for their classroom.